It's story time. It's story time. Es hora de el cuento. It's story time. It's story time. Es hora de el cuento. Hi, welcome to Storytime Express. The days are getting a little colder now, aren't they? Have you gotten out your jacket and mittens yet? We're getting ready to go out and have a snowball fight right now. There's a special day this month called Mitten Tree Day. And so we thought it would be fun to do a story time all about mittens. We're going to read the story called The Mitten. It's written and illustrated by Jan Brett. There's a lot of animals in this story. If you look closely at the pictures, you may find a clue of what animal's coming next. Let's read it now. The Mitten. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Bubba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she said, When you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole, tired from tumbling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm, and just the right size, so he decided to stay. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in feet first. The mole did not think there was enough room for both of them, but when he saw the Rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Next came a hedgehog, snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. Soon the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten. A big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. It started snowing, but the animals were snug inside the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size, but Baba's knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, chew! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch a snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. The end. What color mittens are you wearing? If you're wearing red mittens, clap your hands.
If you're wearing red mittens, clap your hands. If you're wearing red mittens, red, red mittens. If you're wearing red mittens, clap your hands. If you're wearing blue mittens, stomp your feet. If you're wearing blue mittens, stomp your feet. If you're wearing blue mittens, blue, blue mittens. If you're wearing blue mittens, stomp your feet. If you're wearing yellow mittens, shake your head. If you're wearing yellow mittens, shake your head. If you're wearing yellow mittens, yellow, yellow mittens. If you're wearing yellow mittens, shake your head. If you're wearing green mittens, bend your knees. If you're wearing green mittens, bend your knees. If you're wearing green mittens, green, green mittens. If you're wearing green mittens, bend your knees. If you're wearing orange mittens, tap your nose. If you're wearing orange mittens, tap your nose. If you're wearing orange mittens, orange, orange mittens. If you're wearing orange mittens, tap your nose. If you're wearing purple mittens, touch your toes. If you're wearing purple mittens, touch your toes. If you're wearing purple mittens, purple, purple mittens. If you're wearing purple mittens, touch your toes. Ten little mittens hanging on the line. Ten little mittens hanging on the line. One went away, and then there were nine. Nine little mittens near the gate. One went away, and then there were eight. Eight little mittens blowing near heaven. One flew off, and then there were seven. Seven little mittens hanging near the sticks. One fell off, and there were six. Six little mittens by the old beehive. One came off, and then there were five. Five little mittens very near the door. One went away, and then there were four. Four little mittens hanging from a tree. One went away, and then there were three. Three little mittens didn't know what to do. One went away, and then there were two. Two little mittens drying in the sun. One went away. And then there was one. One little mitten didn't want to be alone. He went away, and then there were none. Today we're going to make a mitten craft that will help you to remember just how little your hands used to be when you look back at it a few years from now. It might be nice to make this for someone who is special to you, like your parents or your grandparents. All you need for this craft is some construction paper in three colors white paint, a paintbrush, glue, and a pen or pencil. First, we're going to make handprints on the blue paper. Squirt some white paint on the palm of one hand and use a paintbrush to spread it around. Make sure you have plenty of paint on your hand. Now make a handprint on the blue paper. Do the same thing with your other hand. Draw the outline of a mitten around each handprint. Start at your wrist and make the line curve up and over four fingers and down inside your thumb. Then take the line around the thumb and down to the bottom. Cut out both of the mittens. Once that is done, cut out two white paper rectangles to fit over the cuffs of your mittens. Then, cut out a big heart from a different color paper. Put your mittens at the top part of the heart with a hand part facing down.
Then cut out a big heart from a different color paper. Write your name on one of the white rectangles and write this year, 2022, on the other white rectangle. If you need any help with writing these down, ask a grown-up to help you. Near the bottom point of your heart, write the words, cold hands, warm heart. Now you're ready to glue your mittens onto the heart. Arrange the mittens on the heart so that the writing is at the top with both thumbs in the middle and the tops of the mittens sticking above the heart. And that's all there is to it. Hi, we're the Little Blues and we want to tell you about a really cool thing you can get with your Delaware Library card. Hoopla is an app that has a lot of digital books, TV shows, and movies, and there's a section for kids. You can listen to stories or watch shows on it. Your grown-ups can download the Hoopla app to any TV, computer, tablet, or phone and sign in with their library card number and password. You can borrow four free things every month with Hoopla, so check out Hoopla for Kids. The Little Blues are going to show us how they take care of some of their things to make sure they don't get lost. Like hang up their jacket and scarf when they take them off. And put crayons back in the basket. and put books back on the bookshelf. Thanks for joining us at Storytime today. We had a lot of fun with you. There'll be a new episode on the first Monday of every month. And you can watch it online at any time. Goodbye! Goodbye. Bye. Bye.